Genius. What? Have you ever seen someone climb a radio tower above the clouds? No. What about power line workers? Oh, that's electric. Sidecar racing? How about sidecar crashing? Perhaps a volcanoologist. That's going to be a big no for me. Today, we are reacting to the most dangerous jobs on planet Earth. This is radio tower climbing. This guy climbed above the clouds. Could you imagine peeing off of that? I hope it doesn't blow back in my face. This man is climbing up a radio tower so he could change a light bulb. What are those spikes up there for? Seems like maybe, I don't know, to keep away idiots. I can see my house from here. I bet after a while, you just kind of get used to it. I'd be spending the rest of the year in therapy. I'm afraid of heights, so I don't think I could. Here is cliff jumping. Now, this guy is jumping from the top of a cliff into the water. Don't do it, man. You have so much to live for. These people, like, watch this guy. He hits uh, the ooh. side of this cliff, man. Luckily, he's okay. Next, we have window washing, which you would never catch me doing. These guys are very brave. All right, sir, but your windows are staying dirty. Not for anything would I do this. If I lived in a high-rise building, I would leave, like, little notes on the window just to encourage them and give them a thumbs up. Window washer drops down one level, sees me playing with my belly button. Why are all these jobs that are dangerous so high up in the air? Now we have power line workers. Just imagine getting zapped by that. Oh, my God. Why is this pilot an alien? What kind of helmet is that? Reminds me of something you'd see in Battlestar Galactica. The guys that are on these helicopters must have some massive balls. Jesus Christ, dude. Look at that. This guy is like six inches away from being a barbecue. I could go for some barbecue right now. Next dangerous job is underwater welding. I imagine this is how they clear the pipes at my house when my toilets get clogged. Knowing you, Diaz, you would just weld dick shapes into everything. Weld? You got me. I got this one. That's a wind turbine technician. He is our friend Bartosh from the Marines. After he got out, he got this job. That guy always had the biggest balls. I've seen him. Me too. Look at these guys dangling here. wonder if they play patty cake. I'd play patty cake if I was up there. I would if it was up there with you. Patty cake. Baker. Diaz, this is sidecar racing on the Isle of Man. It takes two people to race these cars. I can get behind this. You get behind a lot of men, don't you, Diaz? For safety. Whoa! Whoa. I've never seen this before, and it's just so wild. Laying on the back of another man just to turn your vehicle. He has that sidecar, and he's not using any of it. Diaz, you're always looking at ass. Imagine your girlfriend sees that your phone gets a notification. She's like, who's that? Next, we have rafting instructors, and this job gets me wet. Everyone's gonna get wet if they're on the raft, Diaz. It's very dangerous job because you're actually in the water all day every day you're gonna be on the water with a whole bunch of people that don't know what they're doing only the craziest people are gonna want to be a white water rafting instructor guys named chet very specifically guys named chet it's just a chet thing to do hey we have another alien this is not an alien diz this is a volcanoologist behold their awesome job i would actually like to do this even though it's very dangerous and i would not like to die by being cooked alive by a blasting lava pit Ooh -wee. look at these guys just hang from the side they don't even have any like stuff on it looks like it's really hot sun's out guns out baby that's why i stopped eating taco bell man i just keep having explosive volcanoes coming out of my body i feel like they're in a daft punk music video it reminds me of back to the future when marty goes back to the past and people see him and think he's a space alien this is totally me though if i was a volcanoologist i would be screwing around i would bring my dinosaur suit what if he starts dancing to gangnam style Next job is snake milking. That's right. You get venomous snakes and you milk them. Coming to a Whole Foods near you. Would you do this job, Diaz? Would you milk snakes? I definitely would, but I get bit a lot. But believe it or not, it takes like 15, 20 snakes to make one vial of anti-venom. If I was going to handle snakes, I'd much rather be the guy that does this. Next job is oil rig workers. I don't even know what these guys are doing. This one seems like it actually needs some skill, not just heights or things that will kill you. Well, it is a lot of things that will kill you. I mean, look, if he gets his foot caught in that thing down in the bottom. He's gonna get, like, turned into a bunch of beef jerky. When I was little, that's what I thought an escalator would do to me if I stepped wrong. And look at that change of snap right there. Like, so many things can go wrong with that job, dude. I know what this is. This is smoke jumping. It's where firefighters jump behind enemy lines to fight the fires. Firefighters. They go down with nothing but their bare hands to punch it in the face. What if we just threw a bunch of Marines out there? Blah! And then the fire is like, ah, and it runs away. They have a fencing helmet. Yeah, what is this helmet for? Is this to protect them from the fire's sword? On guard! Parry! Thrust! It's not going to protect things from getting in his eyes. Things are still going to fly through that. He doesn't have his eye protection on. You know what else is very dangerous, Diaz? Picking your nose while doing jumping jacks? No! Being a fisherman in dangerous waters. Dude, this is why I am terrified of the ocean. I, I actually am afraid of it. Look at that ship. How is it not going to flip over, man? It's a big bathtub, and these are the rubber duckies. These are some very big rubber duckies and some big fart bubble waves. We could have used some of these waves to fight the fires. You're a genius. Just take the waves from this job and put out the danger of the other job. 
two dangers make a right. The most dangerous part is catching crabs. It's supposed to be a PG-13 video, Diaz. It was until you took it that way. I've seen this video before. It's cash in transit. They're transporting money. They're about to get lit up, and this guy handles it like a boss. I think Hollywood should make a video about this guy, and Van Damme should play him. He looks a lot like Van Damme. Imagine old school Van Damme playing this cash in transit driver, and then he does the splits and roundhouse kicks someone in the face. That would be awesome. Luckily, this guy survived. The bad guys ran away. Nothing got stolen, and now he's a national hero of South Africa. But why does it look like he's driving a minivan? It actually is like a little minivan, and it is armored like a muff. Another dangerous job high up in the air is helicopter rescue. Dangling from a helicopter to save people who are in danger. There's so much that can go wrong, but imagine the feeling when it goes right. Mad respect to people who take on jobs that save lives. Dude, look at him just like dangle over that. What if he just smacks into the side of the boat? But not all helicopters go according to plan. This is an old lady that got hurt out there and helicopter rescue come to save her. And then she starts spinning out of control. You spin me right. Imagine being injured and then waiting and finally getting saved and then you just get put on a special merry-go-round. <laughs> Don't worry, she was okay. None of that actually harmed her. It probably made her really dizzy, but got over it. Diaz, imagine being the guy that has to, by hand, disarm a Russian bomb. Imagine being the guy that has to pour water on it. This guy has nerves of steel. Very steady hands, but if something goes wrong, I guess nobody will know. The camera won't even know. Take a look at this bastard. He's got a cigarette in his mouth, and he's carrying a landmine into the forest. I hold my dog after it pees in the house the same way. Next dangerous job is logging. Lots of people die doing this from trees falling on them, as you can see. And that tree was on fire. Look at this tank-like thing just completely pick up entire trees like nothing. All I'm thinking is a robot baseball game now. This robot reminds me of the claw machine, but instead of picking up little cute teddy bears, it's picking up entire trees. It reminds me of the queen knighting someone. Now rise, sir of mulch. Next dangerous job is metal workers. I lost my dick in an unfortunate smelting accident. I imagine these guys at these jobs, by the time the day is over, they're just covered in black like they're a coal miner or something. Did he just use his hands? I don't even understand what is happening. Fire was actually talking back, so he had to punish it. Bad fire, bad. How is his hand not melted off? I don't understand. Diaz, here's a job for you. Cave crawling. I'm short, but I'm fat. I won't fit. I don't like putting on tight shirts. But what about that tight shirt I had you take off before the video started? That's before you sweet talked me out of it. It was showing your boobs, man. Plus, you gotta rep the merch. Speaking of merch, popstanimus.com. Get your popstanimus merch. We've got hoodies. We've got mugs. We've got stickers. We've got it all. I still have my combat bar shirt, by the way, Diaz. Nice. Diaz, how much money would you have to get paid to be a shark tank cleaner? I only accept my payment in crayons. That's easy. Okay, here's some crayons, bro. Go clean the shark tank. Probably not as dangerous as it sounds, but still won't catch me inside of a shark tank. Another thing you would never catch me doing is driving on the side of cliffs. It makes me so uncomfortable when I see the videos with more than one car and they have to share the road. It's one lane and there's two cars coming two different directions. It's the most, like, freaky thing ever. One time in Hawaii, my buddy Maloney was in the trunk with me. We were driving in the trunk and we switched clothes. What an incredibly random story to share, Diaz. Because of that, I'm ending the video. Doodles.